Ds. Okay. This is Rs. And here we have totally Ri1 dash. See here, totally it is Ri1 dash. It is totally Ri1 in parallel with R1 in parallel with R2. Total resistors were considered. Okay. So now across Ri1 is your Bi. Okay. So the circuit, the circuit is simply a, a, a series circuit in which uh, we can do voltage division because there are two resistors. This voltage gets divided and the voltage across so Ri1 dash is nothing but your Vr. So what is Vr? Total voltage Vs into that particular resistance value Ri1 dash divided by the sum of two resistors Rs plus Ri1 dash. Okay, so it becomes Vi by Vs is equal to Ri1 dash by Rs plus Ri1 dash. Okay, so totally now what is AVS? AVS is nothing but yes, AV into AV into Ri1 dash divided by Ri1 dash plus Rs. This is your AVS. So, in the same way, you have AIS. What is AIS? Current in taking source resistance into account. Okay, I will see that. AIS, AIS is current gain taking source resistance into account. Okay, so what is that? I naught by I S. Okay. So now, what is I naught? So, or uh, how to expand it? See the circuit. Here, see, to the load. What is this RC to RC to is nothing but total load resistance of your amplifier. Now, you can consider this I L as I naught also. Because that is the output current. Fine. So now, how I am uh, expanding this, please. See here, what I am doing is, I naught, okay, or I L, yes, I am writing it as I L, by, yes, just move back. Okay, so what is that next current, what is the next current? I C2 into, just move back again. IC2 by IB2. Okay. Then. Again. IB2 by. What is the current here? IC1. Then again move back. IC1. Next current is. Then. IC1 by IB1. Into IB1 by IS. Okay. Yes. If you cancel all these things. IB1, IB1. IC1, IC1. IB2, IB2. IC2, IC2. You will be with IL by IS1. Okay, so this is the way of doing AIS. Now, we have five factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have to get that uh, equivalent value for all these uh, five factors. What is IL by IC2? See here. This is IL and this is IE2. Okay. And there is no any current division. But this IC2 and IL are in opposite direction. So, what I can say? I can say IL is equal to minus IC2. So that is the reason IL by IC2 is nothing but minus 1. Okay, then IC2 by IB2. Without going for the, the circuit, we can write this IC2 by IB2. We know uh, a simple uh, relation between IC and IB. What is that? IC is equal to beta IB. This beta is also called HFV. So, so what is IC by IB? All the time it is nothing but HFV. Whatever be the stage, it may be IC2 by IB2, IC1 by IB1 or if it is a three stage, it may be IC3 by IB3. Okay. It may be IC100 by IB100. The value is HFV only. Okay. Then, yes, it will be, yes, remind, I will calculate it then. See this, IC1 by IB1 again. 
HRV and LB with IB1 by IS. So now we have to uh, derive uh, or we have to find what is IB2 by IC1 and IB1 by IS. Okay. IB2 by IC1. Okay. For that, see here. B2 and C1. Here is B2 and here is C1. You have to consider in between circuit. Means the circuit between C1 and B2. What is that? C1. Okay. And here is B2. Between these two, you have RC1 and R1 and R2. Okay, then here after B2 you have this HI. HI is nothing but RI2. So now I am writing RI2. Okay, then how to take this? See this current, collector current. It is from C1 into the bus transistor. Okay. Suppose if I want to indicate the same current like this in the supposed direction, what I have to write? I have to write as minus IC1. See, I am writing here minus IC1. This current is IC1, so opposite current is minus IC1. Then this current is IB2. Okay, just I am drawing again the equivalent. So you have C1. Between C1 and B2, three resistors. So what is this? RC1 in parallel with R1 in parallel with R2. This is B2. What is this? This is Ri2. Okay. So now this current is minus IC1 and this current is IB2. Okay. Now listen carefully. The collector current moves like this. First it reaches this node and at this node it gets divided like this. Current division takes place and the current, this current is nothing but IB2. So now what is IB2? Yes, you can write IB2 as, what is the total current? Minus IC1. As is current division, you have to consider the opposite resistance first. So RC1 in parallel with R1 in parallel with R2 divided by sum of two resistors. Ri2 plus RC1 in parallel with R1 in parallel with R2. So it implies, what is that? What we need? We need uh, IB2 by IC1 is nothing but RC1 in parallel with R1 in parallel with R2 by Ri2 plus RC1 in parallel with R1 in parallel with R2. Okay, so this is your IB2 by IC1. So now I will move to the IB1 by IS. Okay, yes now for that we consider this input part. Now we will move to the IB1 by IS. Now see this what I am considering. I am considering this input side. Yes. Vs. Is. Then see this. R1 and R2 parallel combination is there. So I am writing it as R1 in parallel with R2. After that you have B1. After that you have Ri1. Okay. So like this. Here also. Is is coming like this. And before that. What is the current here? Current here is Ib1. Yes now. Is is coming to this node. It gets divided like this. And this current is nothing but your Ib1. So what is Ib1? Ib1 is... What is the total current? Ah, yes. Yes, here uh, you can represent RS, no problem. 
Okay. So, Is into opposite resistance. R1 in parallel with R2 divided by total value. R1 in parallel with R2 plus Ri1. So, what is totally IB1 by Is? Is equal to R1 in parallel with R2 by R1 in parallel with R2 plus Ri1. Okay. So, IB2 by IC1. So, this is your IB2 by IC1. IB1 by IS. So, this is your IB1 by IS. So, if you, if you substitute all those two here, S, now you can complete uh, your AIS. So, these are all the overall parameters of your two-stage amplifier. Okay. So, totally what are the parameters? Voltage gain, current gain, input impedance, output impedance, then AVS, AIS. Okay. Then AVS and AIS. Okay. So, this is completely about uh, the analysis of two-stage RC coupled amplifier. Okay. So, uh, yes, you listen the video repeatedly and to take the notes. It has taken a lot of time to explain. But uh, the analysis part is very easy. Okay, even for the next amplifiers also, I will go in the same procedure. At the end of multi-stage amplifiers, concept analysis of two-stage amplifiers becomes very, very easy. Okay, I can ensure you that definitely the analysis becomes very easy. Okay, now I already told you I will explain one problem also. What type of problem will be given in this two-stage amplifier? Okay, they will mention, yes, you have already the previous two-stage amplifier circuit with transistor. They will give all the uh, values uh, along with two H parameters. What are those two H parameters? HIE and HFE. Okay, they will specify the circuit and also HIE, HFE. Then uh, for the first stage, R1, R2, R7, R1. And for the second stage, R1, R2, RC2, RE2. Okay. They will give all the values. It's good to find uh, all these parameters. Analyze a two-stage amplifier like that. Simply what you have to do? You have to substitute all the given values of resistors and HIE and HFE in these formulas. Okay. So that completes the problem. That's all. Very, very simple problem. Okay. Thank you very much. So in the next class, I'll go for... Uh, cascode amplifier that is C, CB amplifier. Okay.